Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to have the next run. It is time for a run which I would call Rise of the Roberts. And Rise of the Roberts is by far the one that you wanted to see the most. To kind of recap what we're doing in this run is we're going to do a standard legendary Iron Man run. I'll spice it up with some permanent dark events just for good measure. I think that is always a fun um, little um, extra in those runs. But the kicker of this run is the only allowed classes are psionically active classes and robots, aka sparks, which means I am only allowed to use um, recruits or rookies. I am allowed to use Templars, Psy Operatives and Sparks and that's about it. I cannot promote any soldier into a normal class. I cannot take any additional other class and I'll do uh, probably a self restriction and uh, sort of try to finish the game in a moderate time to not uh, drag it out too long into the end game. So let's see how the entire game uh, goes. I definitely want to have a lot of psionic gameplay because that's normally underutilized and I'm very much looking forward for it. Okay, without further ado, uh, let's uh, do a new game. We're going to go, go a legend, toggle advanced options and start with a Templar because we want that sweet, sweet uh, Templar to start with. Permanent dark events, as I mentioned uh, beforehand, uh, that sounds fantastic. We're choosing the game track, uh, game soundtrack UFO Defense. Some of you in the comments asked me how to get that uh, specific soundtrack. It's pretty really easy if you install the Legacy DLC and play through it. As one of the rewards, uh, you'll get that wonderful synthi uh, synthesizer music. So that's why you always hear the original 1992 uh, refeatured uh, UFO defense uh, sound. And uh, yeah, that's about it. We're enabling Iron Man. We're doing the standard startup. And I am incredibly excited to see who will make our SWAT. Who's going to be drafted? Let's stay tuned. All right, guess what? We are back in business. So we got some OGs here to start with. We got Dark Tower Noxus making the team once again. He is one of my favorite characters. We got Halep, a new recruit that we recently have added to the team. Halep uh, is one of the newer viewers. We got the man, the legend, Hawkbite. He needs certainly no introduction. The only character who has ever, ever soloed Legendary Iron Man um, as a single character. And finally, we got the DM, uh, Andrew of Zell, a new character as well. So we got a nice mix of existing characters and new ones. If you haven't been drafted, don't sweat it. You will eventually get your chance as well. So don't panic. Well, let's uh, move up and see what we're dealing with. We conveniently enough started on high ground. Uh, that is fantastic. Even better, we got absolute fantastic line of sight up here. Gotta be a bit careful. Want to make sure that we're not just charging in. There might be a civilian down there. A little bit of an overwatch trap. Let's um, see what the enemy is going to do. Two packs at once would be probably a bit too much for my liking. So I would say we're just holding our position here. Let's wait for them to come a bit closer. Even better. You know, we could start with essentially going for that sectoid. And since we know the other pack is uh, there, it's actually a pretty safe bet. C 
can't fully make it all the way to there. Question that I'm wondering about is since, see that's the disadvantage here of line of sight. This trooper is not yet in cover, which means we cannot see him. If he would stand there and be alarmed, we could actually see him because he would kind of see around the corner. But by just standing there, he effectively broke line of sight. So we could start pulling that pack and then next round just go for the other one. Might be not the worst idea ever. Also, it's not the best idea ever, so... We have nothing to lose by just waiting uh, one more time. I want to try to do that uh, mission here flawlessly. Those three... Could now be picked up. We'll trigger the other pack. We wouldn't be able to kill four unless the grenade actually deals enough damage. And when I say four, those three plus the one trooper down here couldn't get rid of all of them at the same time. But this is an excellent position, so... I would be hard pressed to let it go. There is actually hollow ground below it. So if I'm not mistaken, this ground can explode and they can fall down at least two of them, which in return makes the following move not completely stupid. We're going to go double overwatch um, as this pack here would trigger first. Hence, both of the shots will go straight into them since we're in concealment we don't take overwatch penalties nor are we um, nor are we taking any penalty for cover and i was wrong um, unfortunately it did not break the ground luckily for us the 33 percent chance of triggering uh four points of damage with the grenade uh, actually worked so if you throw a grenade on legendary or on any difficulty a normal grenade has a 33% chance of dealing four points of damage which is as an expected value if you do it uh, with an entire pack you are expected to kind of get that one ensured kill problem here is I really don't want to trigger uh, that other pack and at the same time we're going to take some return fire. Unless, of course, we're moving here and just taking the shot. It's not worth uh, pulling the other pack. The other pack will have a captain included, so that's a no-no. This here will force him to migrate. We have a 40% chance to hit and crit. Uh, well, 70% chance to hit and 40% to crit. That's a 30% chance to actually kill him entirely. And that's not good enough. It just doesn't cut it for me. This here is a 33% chance to hit him. Uh, and I'll, I'm guaranteed three points of damage. So we're probably going with that. Might look a bit wasteful. But it actually is not there. It's the so most solid uh, chance to kill him. Yeah, didn't work out. So I'll take at least one retaliation f uh, fire. He might run into uh, into the burning tiles and get burnt, which would be fantastic. Effectively killing himself. No respite for the dead. The aliens have found a way to mind control them now. And we are taking shots. Luckily, the DM evaded that maneuver pretty easily. Keep his grenade as a security uh, to kill this guy 100%. 75%. There we go. That's a solid hit. 
and we can't reach the sector that is hashtag unfortunate again normally I'm not the biggest fan of shooting these zombies but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do just in order to make sure that they are not retaliating The mind spin. I do not want Hogbite to receive the mind spin, which is why we're putting him into a place where he can effectively reach the sector, but is not in line of sight. That way, it is more likely that one of the rookies will be controlled. Or just that the sector is. Too afraid to even fight us. Fair enough. Very controlled so far. We're keeping the high ground over here. High ground, high ground. And even more high ground. Hogbite is playing point person. A sector at this point has already decided to continue to run going to use uh, the moment to reload something that is very underappreciated in my perspective many players forget kind of the momentum advantage that you get just from reloading uh, because it means that your soldiers don't need to uh, reload in the middle of the next firefight good we're placing a good old overwatch trap in the hopes of attracting the enemy normally the ai will place a pack between us and the target and since we're here they should theoretically move in our direction which of course if once i mentioned that they should theoretically do it they are not doing it the ai has, for those of you who are unaware, has a tiny bit more vision range, which means it is entirely possible that they know that we're here and are just waiting on the edge of the vision range. Of course, it is also entirely possible that they are running into us. There we go, we get a full Overwatch trap um, off, and I hope and we're actually going to be able to at least kill one of them. There we go. One is down. Two down. Perfect. It's pretty damn good. So, another advantage of just having the superior position and higher ground is you have uh, the momentum to flank. There we go, very solid damage. Good job. The sector, coincidentally enough, is sitting behind full cover. So let's see if we can kill him without the help of our Templar. A little bit of cover removal. There we go. He's now completely exposed. And that means we can move into position. Nice little flanking high ground position. And down goes the sector. Taking another flanking position because finally we have the freedom to do that and there we go another kill area is secure we're not picking up any inbound contacts Scans good clear. i'm even getting the loot auto loader yeah it's okay not the best loot but whatever 
We got a flawless first mission. And everybody gets a promotion. Specifically, the Templar has gotten a few kills, which is perfect because we want him to level. The others are continuing to stay at the rank of rookie, so there's really not much that they will do. And that was Gate Crasher, ladies and gentlemen. Quick, but yet very effective first flawless mission here we go all right there we go look at that three promotions oh no oh i didn't want to promote anyone mm, my bad okay well noxus that means you're going to s to warm the bench from now on uh, let's not promote anyone else yeah too bad that really stinks on the other hand it will give us more time to see what whom else we have in the armory so we got sonar quick feet roby russ xqs sex and uh, mm, true rebel ranvin hunk that's pretty damn good we got almost the entire uh, team here plus hogbite that is fantastic let's start with research uh, since we are going for Sonics, I would still do the absolute basic research first and we're starting with uh, Let's see Modular weapons so that we can uh, modify our weapons Are we going to build anything? Probably later for now. We're fine Yeah, we got some promotions. That's all fine and good and let's take a look here we still do not have any engineer but we can nonetheless start building the resistance ring which i'm probably going to do as the first um, as the first building the guerrilla tactic school loses a bit of um, yeah appeal if you're playing without all of the classes because you the main reason to build it early is to actually train up the classes so that's not going to happen. It is still valid for squad size improvements. So we might want to go with it a little bit later. All right, let's see where we start. In the Middle East, that is always a fun location, North Africa. We're receiving the position of the Templar HQ now. We don't know much about these Templars, so it might be worth sticking around here for a while. As well as contacting Geist, their leader. Good. My people and I greet you as an ally. So we got either the ability to recover faster from injuries, which at the moment is really not that needed, or we're going to start actually scanning for usable items. Supplies are rare at the beginning, so might as well take them. Resistance contacts just tipped us off to a site that may be worth investigating. Commander, the Avengers There we go. Modular weapons, perfect. That's a good starting point. We got a couple of other uh, items now. Magnetic weapons with 63 days are probably not worth it. Uh, we're definitely going with alien biotech because we need the sectoid um, autopsy as soon as possible. But we're not going to do any autopsy before we're not having the standard research done got ourselves about 50 supplies there is a scientist that's fantastic because the current strategy that we're uh, that we're doing requires a lot of research and having that extra scientist will help us and there's our first mission look at that we got an engineer protect the device well the game already throws us a bone without even being in a bad state. Well, that is fantastic. Let's end uh, today's recording here as a starter. It's a bit of a quicker mission, 20 minutes in. And I know you want to see more missions, but rest assured that will happen very soon. I'm happy that it started off very, very well. And we're going to do the next mission just in a second. Thank you for watching. As always, if you want to support the channel, 
don't forget to um, like the video and leave a comment. That's how the YouTube game works if you want to do me a solid and um, want to kind of appreciate uh, the entertainment. Both of that would be much, much appreciated. Thank you and see you in the next run. Bye bye.